Hi, I'm John Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series we're taking a look at the touchpad by HP. That's their new tablet. In this episode, we're going to talk about the settings menu on the touchpad. To get to the settings menu, swipe out from the bottom and then hit the upward facing arrow. Swipe over until you get to the settings tab. Here you'll see a number of options available that you can change. The first of these options is accounts. Accounts allows you to set up and change your email and Synergy accounts. You can find out more about the Synergy accounts in another episode in this series. Next we have backup. Now WebOS actually backs up all of your settings on your touchpad so that if you have to replace it with another touchpad or move to a different device for whatever reason, you can automatically download your settings and the applications that you have on there. In the settings menu here, you can actually turn this service off or you can force a backup if you're about to do something in your touchpad and you want to be sure that you have a backup ready to go. Next up we have the Bluetooth menu. This allows you to set up your Bluetooth devices. Again, you can check out our other episode on Bluetooth to find out how this works. Under the date and time option, you can change the date and time and how your touchpad uses those settings on the device. Next, we have device info, which gives you specific information about the device, including name, the account, and device specs like available memory and serial number. You can also tap more info for more detailed info on both hardware and software on the system. Or at the bottom, you can reset the device entirely and erase it. Next up, exhibition mode controls what your touchpad will do when you place it on the touchstone charging dock. You can set different applications for different docks. There are also a number of exhibition modes that you can download from the market. The help option gives you some tutorials and how-tos for the touchpad and gives you the option of connecting to a live HP support person if you have questions. Just type controls what options appear when you start typing into the Just Type field on the home screen. You can uncheck specific items if you don't want them to appear or you can turn off whole categories if you don't want any of these things to appear in the results. Next up, Location Services allows you to turn off geolocation for your browser and for specific applications. Or you can set your touchpad to ask on an app-by-app -app basis and to make sure that your location isn't automatically sent out in photos and apps. The Print Manager option allows you to add wireless or network-connected HP printers and then manage jobs sent to them. Under the Regional Settings option, you can change the formatting used in your local area like time formatting, date formatting, and currency settings. Under the Screen and Lock option, you can change your screen brightness your auto lock timeout period, and you can change your wallpaper. You can also set the touchpad's gesture capability and whether or not you need a pin or password to unlock the touchpad. In Software Manager, you can see the apps on your system, you can review them, report problems, or you can delete them altogether. You can also see at the bottom if updates are available for the apps you have. Under Sounds and Ringtones, you can adjust the volume and sounds on the touchpad, including the ability to turn off system sounds and keyboard clicks. You can also adjust ringtones if your touchpad is linked with your pre. You can also turn off the vibrate feature and turn Beats audio component on or off in this section. The System Updates option looks for updates to the touchpad system software itself and notifies you if there are any updates to download and install. Text Assist gives you a few options for typing, including auto-correction and capitalization. You can also edit the dictionary if you want to add or remove words. If you're using the touchpad in a corporate environment, you can set up a VPN connection using the VPN option for secure connections while you're out in the field. And lastly, the Wi-Fi option allows you to configure your wireless networking. Again, check out the previous episode on how to set up a connection using Wi-Fi. That's a look at the settings menu on the touchpad. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series. We'll show you other ways of interacting with the touchpad. And you can see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.